By the end of this video, you'll know how to create a professional law firm logo like any of these you see here. You'll be able to put it on hats, banners, t-shirts, business cards, your website, and social media. So let's get into it. The first thing you wanna do is open up a new browser and go to logomaker.com without the E, L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R.com, L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R. It should look like this. And just go ahead and click the Start My Design right here. Click on that button. It's gonna open up a new canvas. And the first thing I like to do is look for a graphic. They have over 3 million graphics. So I'm just gonna look for Law right here. And I actually like this one right here, but you could go and search for whatever you want. I'm gonna click on this one right here. I really like this one. I'm going to take it, grab it, and move it. There you go. You could also resize it by clicking on the corners and resizing this. Then the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and click on the T button here. And I'm going to move this. And I'm going to put in what I want. More law. I'm going to make this all caps. And I'm going to change the color by going over to the color area here. I'm just going to make it black. Then what I want to do is change the font here. They have different font categories. What I like is the traditional font for lawyer here. They have really good traditional ones that I really like. And I'm gonna choose a nice one that fits this. You kinda want it to look good with that icon. So I'm gonna look for one that looks really nice with that. So I really like this one right here. This one looks really good. And I could click, hold, and resize this if I want. And I can move it to the center. And notice it locks it in right there in the center. If you notice, it goes like this. And you'll know you're centered. The next thing I want to do is put another line of text right here. So I'm just going to grab the T here. And I'm going to move this over. And I'm just going to say EST established in 1981, let's just say. And I'm going to change that there. I'm going to make it smaller and I'm going to align it just like that. But maybe I want to change that font down there. So I'm going to go to designer picks and I want something a little bit different or railway is really nice too. And I'm going to make this smaller and I'm going to move it and center it there. There you go. And I can move it with my mouse. That's looking pretty good. So what I want to do now is I want to crop this right here once you like it. You could crop it, go to the very bottom here and press crop. And then I'm gonna grab the corners just like this, the little box corners here, and I'm gonna crop it. So it has just a good amount of spacing on the right, left, top and bottom. And then I'm gonna click apply crop right there. There you go. Once I'm done with that, we could save this by going over to the save area here and then click save logo. You're going to see what it looks like on hats, t-shirts, banners, all this stuff. Really, really nice. If you want to download it for free, you could click this. You have to agree to the service of terms. But if you want a full resolution and you want the vector files for printing and you want the full license, and that's really worth getting since you are going to be using this on your website and all of your materials for your company. I would highly recommend getting that. Otherwise, you could download the free one down below. But uh, I would recommend just getting the full license so you could print it out and do all that stuff on it. Let me know if you have any questions. Put your logo link on the bottom. I'd love to see what you did. And I will talk to you shortly.